Sing it, yeah, mama, don't stress your mind. We coming home. Hello, everyone. It's me again, Teacher March, and welcome back. Okay, welcome again to my video. Today, we are going to talk about fraction in words. Only, uh, most of the kids, they don't know how to write it into words. So, I am going to teach you how to do it. And I want you to apply it in your worksheets or your modules. So, let's try about this. So, this one, for example, we have one half. So here, if you are going to write into words, it will be what? One half. Okay. It has its own uh, word, which is half. So if we are going to write equals, okay, two and two, this one write as two halves. Okay, two halves. Okay, so for example, we have these again. So, we are going to apply only the um, ordinal numbers. So, if we are going to write this, it will be what? One third. Okay. So, one third. Why one third? Because this one is equal to one. So, we're not going to put S. But if we have two thirds, yeah, we are going to put S like this. Why we need to put S? Because the numerator is more than 1. We can usually write also 3 thirds. Yes, so this one write as 3 thirds with S because the numerator is more than 1. Now, so for example, we have this number. Some of the kids, they will say, teacher, it's 4, 5. Okay, 4, 5. This one is not 4, 5. Because we are going to change this second number or the denominator into ordinal numbers. So, instead of 5, so 5 here, we are going to change into F. The VE change to F and add TH. Okay? Change VE to F and add TH. So, it may, uh, instead of 5, we will write as F-I-F-T-H. And we need to add S because 4 is more than 1. What if we have 1, 8? Okay? So, in 8, yeah, it write as 1. And then 8 here, it will be what? 1, 8. It will be E I G H T. This one A has already T, so you are going to add only H. Why H without S? Because this one is equal to one. But if there is more than, for example, five eight, so it will be five and then eight with S. Got it? Okay, how about this one, 7, 9? So, in 7, 9, you are going to write 7 and then not 9. Yeah, I know it is N-I-N-E. But uh, in writing words, we are not going to put E. We will just add only T-H and then S because 7 is more than 1. So, it means it will be N-I-N-T-H. S. Okay? No E. How about if we have 11, 12? This one, it write as 11. Yes, definitely. And then this one, 12. T-W-E-L-V-E. -E -E. Actually, we're not going to write 12 like this because this one is not a ordinal number. So what are we going to do? Change 12 into ordinal number. But how? T-W-E-L-V-E. -E. There is V-E here. And you are going to change into F. And write T-H-S. Okay? Change V-E to F and write T-H-S. So it will be what? T-W-E-L-F. T-H-S. Okay? And that is the answer.
Okay, again. Okay, so this one, for example, we have 7, 12. So how can we write into words? So it will be 7, and then 12. T W E L F T H. Yeah, with S. How about this? 1920. Okay, so this one, still the same thing, 19. Okay, so always remember the numerator here is always in our real number words. Yeah, like for example, 7, 7, 19, 19. But the second number, you must make it into ordinal numbers. What is ordinal numbers? Putting TH. Okay, so 20. Instead of 20, you are going to change Y into IE and add TH. So it will be what? 20th. Change Y to IE and write THS. Why S? Because it is more than 1. So this one read as 1920th. But if it is more than 20, could the same thing. For example, this. Yeah. So this one write as what? 50. 50 what? 57. 57 what? 57. 75 or 75th. Why fifth? Because 75th or 75 here is the denominator. So you need to change into ordinal numbers. And then 57, still the same number word. And here it will be ordinal numbers. But then some, or in my case, okay, my students here. I will allow them to put the word over. Yes, you heard me right. I will let them to put over. Because literally, most of the kids, they don't really master about ordinal numbers. They usually know the number words instead of ordinal numbers. So for me, for me as a teacher, I will let my student to write 57 over 75 so this one 75 so the 75 here is the number word so I will let them to write over okay instead of 57 75 although this is the best answer but this one is like uh, for them to understand more for example we have um, this number Okay, how to write this into words? So this one, in the correct way, we have 38, 38 what? 69, 69, with DHS and no E, so 69, 69, here, it can be 39 or 38 over 69 so it depends on the direction it depends on the direction so i will let my student to put the word over to make the word simpler okay so for the correct way it must be 69 38 69 but in my case i will let my student to write 38 over 69 but then you cannot make like 38 okay 38 and then over there is the word over and then you are going to write 69 with DHS and I'm not going to allow this because why did you put over then this one is already ordinal numbers and this one is definitely wrong you cannot put over at the same time it is ordinal number here, I will let the students to write the two number words and the bit, uh, between word is over. Okay? What if we have the whole number now? For example, two and four fifths. 
So, 2 is a whole number. So, we need to separate to the fraction. To separate this, it will be what? 2 and you are going to write the word in. 2 and 4, 4 fifths. Okay, 4 fifths. Again, so we have 3 and 6, uh, let's say 12. So this one, write as what? 3, because 3 is a whole number. And, and what? 6, 12. Okay, 6, 12. This one, an ordinal number. Okay? So, I will let the students to write in. Why? Because we need to separate a whole number and a fraction. Okay, what if we have more than 20? For example, we have 1 and 19, 38. So, this one, in a correct way, we can write as 1 and... 19, 19 what? 30, 30, 38, yeah, 38, okay, but then I will allow my student to write us like this, 1 and 19 over 38. So, in my case, I will let them to write it this way, okay? So, it's up to them, whatever they write it first. But then, you cannot write over and then here has HS. You cannot write it that way. But in this case, I will uh, check this one because this one is correct and this one is um, uh, for them to make it more easier. 5 um, and... 67 over 98 okay so this one write as what 5 and 67 67 what 98 but then in my case not in my um uh, teaching so I will let my student to write 5 and 67 over 98. But you cannot write over at the same time you have TH here. And that is definitely wrong. Okay, so that will be all for fraction in words i hope you really understand and i hope you can apply into your worksheets and even in your modules thank you so much always remember practice makes perfect thank you so much for your listening i hope you enjoyed this video and please share it to your friend thank you